Hello everyone, it's Corey here and today we're going to be changing the oil in this 2018 GMC Sierra 3500 HD. And this truck has the 6 liter V8 in it. So if we crawl under here, well before you crawl under make sure that your vehicle supported safely. I drove it up on these ramps to give me some clearance so that I can crawl under here and um, drain the oil. So the parking brake is on, everything's secure. So crawl under here and locate the drain plug, which is right there. This is a 15 millimeter uh, drain plug. And the oil filter is right over here, nice and easy to get at. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this up now and start draining the oil. Make sure your oil pan's ready. Let's give that a few minutes. It's a good idea to do this when the vehicle's warm. The oil flows out much faster. Okay, while I'm waiting for the oil to drain, I'll show you the oil ch I chose here. 5W30. It is Dexos 1 approved. And that's the fi oil filter I chose right there. This engine takes 6 quarts, so you have 5 here and then 1 here and uh, that'll do it. Now if you look in your owner's manual here in uh, 339 it tells you which oil you should choose for your engine type. So as you can see the 6 liter V8 says use 5W30. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I tried to use my oil filter wrench to get this off, and it's on there very, very tight. Now this is the first uh, oil change of this truck. It only has 6,000 miles on it, and I certainly can't get it by hand. So I'm probably gonna have to use channel locks, which I hate to do because it dents the filter and beats it up real bad, And but I gotta do what I gotta do. Alright, I finally got this sucker loose, and I beat it up pretty bad, but it doesn't matter. It was on there real tight. It was kind of ridiculous. So I let that drain, and spin it the rest of the way off. But yeah, I had to use these channel locks here. And this thing, it just wouldn't do it. The handle started to bend, and I uh, had to dig into it with the channel locks. But, I'll just let it drain there and take it off. Alright, before I install the new filter, I'm going to go ahead and wipe this up real good. Get it nice and clean. Then, uh, get the filter ready. Okay, what I like to do before I install the filter is uh, fill this up with oil and let the the filter plates uh, soak up the oil and it'll saturate it and uh, that way it's easier on engine startup, it's easier on the engine components. So I'll do that and then I'll coat this gasket with a thin film of oil. It'll slowly absorb this oil and until it stops doing so then you're done doesn't take too long. Okay, it looks pretty good right there. Get a little bit here and uh, coat this gasket real good. 
Okay. We are good to install. You don't need to go super tight on these. Okay, that's good. All right, we are done under here. Oil filter is on, drain plug is back on. Now we can go up above and add the oil. Okay, unscrew that, put our funnel in, and start adding the oil. I'm going to add five quarts now and then put the cap on and back it off these ramps so it's on the level. Then I'll add the last quart. Okay, the truck is on the level now, backed up off the ramps. Okay, let's see where we're at here. It looks like we have one more quart to add. It's just at that first notch from the bottom there. So I add the sixth quart and we'll be good to go. Okay, let's check it one last time here. We have six quarts of oil in there now. Okay, you can see that. It's right at the top there. And we are good to go. So that is it. All right, now that we've completed the oil change, we need to reset the oil life. So, turn the key on. And you take this stem here, and you turn it until you see the oil life percentage. I'm just turning this to the right. There it is. You could turn it to the left too if you want. Turn it to the right. And you just press this in. Are you sure you want to reset? Turn the knob to the right. Yes. Push it in again. 100%. That's all you need to do. You can scroll back to wherever you want it at and then. So that is it. That completes the oil change, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.